Hey, what is up? Welcome back to the Sci-Fi Super Show, a, sh- a podcast where we talk about nothing but sci-fi, fantasy, or whatever we like to talk about as nerds. My name is Nick, or Nick Sense as I'm known on YouTube, and with me today as the only guest on here is the host of College Gamer himself, Alex Studer. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you feeling today? Uh, tired. Tired? tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm just kind of... Oh, there she is. Uh, I, I just kind of, I just kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm all right. It's, I've been on spring break this week. Uh, Sin- and you're a college student. Yeah. I, oh, I'm a college student. Yeah. Since you've been on spring break, have you seen any good nerd sci-fi movies? At all? Watched any movies? Like, yeah. have I watched anything? No, I haven't. I, well, I, that's the thing. There's my like, problem. Well, that's why you're tired. Well, because I'm, I mean, it's since it's break and everything, I mean, I like to uh, play games and I like to do stuff like that. So I don't us- usually watch a lot of movies. And there are plenty of sci-fi related games. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I restarted Dragon Age Inquisition again. I, uh, I'm i doing stuff like that. Which one game of the year? The one did one play. game of the year, yes. You do need to play that game. I do. You do need to play that as you can see, Alex Tudor here, he's my brother, he loves yeah. talking about games. Oh, I, I'm a game fanatic. I am a game person. But I mean, I like other things too. I mean, I like uh, movies. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I was going to go to film school before I decided to do this whole video game thing. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. And yeah. I knew that. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, yeah, you knew that, but the, I mean, the audience didn't know that. I mean... Uh, I mean, I, I have a lot of... I'm the one who really introduced you to Predator and all that kind of stuff. You and um, Chris Harkins, yeah. who was on your podcast at one point, yeah, I believe. Yeah, at one point, yeah. You guys introduced me to that. I gotta thank you for that, because mm-hmm. it completely mm-hmm. just introduced me to sci-fi, that and Alien. Yeah. In fact, I was actually introduced to both at once. Yeah, but because we introduced you to uh, Alien vs. Predator. Yeah, I, I knew that there was AVP, and I knew there was Aliens, but I didn't know there was separate Predator. Right, right. And it was my parents that were like, we're going to watch this movie uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger mm. called Predator. I'm like, oh, you mean like from Alien vs. Predator? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And you know how they dumbed down AVP in 2004? Like... It well, they made it PG-13. PG-13 and not R. So yeah. I was like, oh, this is going to be pretty cool. And man, was it different. Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about... I'm talking about Predator 1. Predator 1. Yeah. Yeah. That was a lot different experience yeah. watching that. And oh, I yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, so what's this show about? Like, what... This show, like I said before, is about... Just talk about sci-fi. Right. Fantasy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Marvel, DC, anime, manga, anything like that. Cool. And uh, one of the topics for today, on episode two, is um, you're a fan of Jurassic Park, yes? I love Jurassic Park. So do I. We both grew up with it. It's the first movie I saw in theaters. Really? Yeah. I thought that was The Lost World. Well, okay, it's the first non-kid movie I saw in theaters. Okay. How about that? So, and we're both pumped for Jurassic World. Yeah. We saw the Jurassic World trailer, like, the day it was released, and we just cheered out. It was such a huge thing we saw. Oh, yeah. I mean, the Jurassic World trailer uh, is absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Super Bowl one, I think, is better. Oh, yeah, the Super I Bowl one. I think the one. Super Bowl, the, the first trailer was amazing because mm-hmm. of the Raptor Squad. And oh, yeah, like and then we got to see more of the Raptor but, Squad. But, yeah. As Chris Pratt is training them. But... The Super Bowl trailer is really the best one because it yeah. showed what I told you when we first saw it. I didn't believe it until I saw it. There were going to be uh, like pteranodons and other <sighs> flying dinosaurs. I love there, pteranodons. and I knew it was going to be in this movie because of the overhead. Like mm-hmm. because I wanted to go to film school, I yeah. know the whole swinging shot mm-hmm. for things flying through the air. Yeah, obviously that one looked like it. That woman who got picked up by the. <laughs> Want to take that, was that was amazing. I'm I'm really excited for Jurassic World. I'm curious to see what they can do with the Raptor Squad and the Indominus Rex. Mm, the but, Indominus Rex, I I don't know. But the main topic here is that they before the movie's been even released, which is in June, mm. um, they're already planning for the sequel of Jurassic World. Mm. Mm. Which I don't know how that could be. Well, it really just depends on what happens. In this one, mm-hmm. um, because the only thing I can see happening with this one, it's like 
after Jurassic Park, the first Jurassic mm-hmm. Park, nobody ever thought that The Lost World would come out. Yeah. Right? I mean, the book had been released and mm-hmm. stuff like that, but nobody had been like, well, how in the world can you go back to the same place uh, when it's, yeah, and you know, like that? The thing is that The Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 mm. are on the, the uh, second island. Right, right. Which, basically, they aren't even sequels in that way. Right. This Jurassic World is technically the first true right. sequel. And I don't know what they're going to be doing with uh, this movie in the continuity. Like, are they going to count Lost World as canon? Are they going to ignore Jurassic Park I 3 because believe, the military got involved? And like, I believe... Are, well, see, Are that's they just going to go after Jurassic Park 1? Like Jurassic Park? or I think it would be smart to go just from Jurassic Park 1. Because mm. if you remember at the end of Jurassic Park 3... You saw pteranodons flying like right. outside. Right. You think that would start some kind of commotion with everybody? Right. Well, what I'm what I'm trying to think of is like this is a major park. Jurassic World mm-hmm. is a major park. Uh, how in the world did that get started? You know, how old is it? Like, I don't think Jurassic Park three is going to be considered. Yeah. At all. It's going to be, is it going to be, you know, The Lost World mm-hmm. is the latest movie that they're going to do? Because that kind of makes sense. Because that's when, uh, technically, John Hammond dies. So it's kind of just like... Yeah, well, he was alive at the end of The Lost World. I think it was between 2 and 3 that he, he did die. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's kind of assumed that he's going to die very soon. Yeah. In, in the fact, in the original book, he did die in... Right. Like, from dinosaurs. And I know that there... I know the first Jurassic Park is canon, only mm-hmm. in that... Uh, Henry Wu was coming back. Oh, yeah. You gotta uh, love that guy. He's in it. He's um, the best guy. So, I don't know it's where a, they're gonna see, cross over. The, see, we don't know. It's just mm. the thing. Um, it could, the park be shut down and be like Lost World again. Or it could be like, we have this under control. It's still gonna remain open. Or maybe it's gonna be like a to-be-continued thing. And they're gonna pick it up in the next one. I almost... Well, I gotta see this one, obviously, mm-hmm. before I make any judgment. Whether they're should be a sequel or not. Yeah. Because it could very well end in me like, well, there shouldn't be a sequel because I don't know how they'll, they'll pull it off. Yeah. Part of me says, though, it could be cool for them to, I guess, go back and try to keep the park open because, I mean, there's been a lot of incidents with other amusement parks. What this could, what the sequel could be is that it could be a sequel prequel. Right. Like, it could explain how Jurassic World came to be. Well, I don't think that's, uh, maybe, but I don't, we need to see the movie. For yeah, that. we need to we see the movie. Know. We don't know how it, how they would pull that off. So, okay, speaking of new sequel and movies, mm. um, Star Wars is getting a spinoff movie called yeah. Rogue. Rogue One. Rogue One. Okay. Rogue One. Uh, and yeah. with that movie, it's new. It's getting a new expanded universe, mm-hmm. meaning every single thing before now is not there. It didn't exist. Kind of. Yeah, it's it's getting... kind of there, but it's kind of not. It's like it's like there, as like, fa- like not fan fiction, but like stories. Mm-hmm. But they're not canon stories. They're like they don't myths. affect the movies. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're getting a new expanded universe, a new Rogue spinoff movie, and J.J. Um, Abrams is going to be directing episode eight. Right. Well, no. Was it eight? No. J.J. Uh, Abrams is only doing episode seven, which is the one that's coming out. Somebody else is directing episode eight, and they're trying to get J.J. Abrams oh, back for episode okay. nine. Um, that, that's it. That's the nine. reason he's skipping out on eight is probably to do Star Trek three. Mm-hmm. More than likely. Also, that's how the Star Wars movies originally went. J- uh, George Lucas directed A New Hope, and then he didn't direct Empire nope, Strikes Back. he only directed episode four. Right. So... That's and, just kind and, of tradition. Yeah. Um, which, episode five, is my favorite. Mm, mm. But uh, Rogue One, it's being directed by uh, Gareth Edwards, the director of uh, that, Godzilla. That, that's who. I read that wrong. It was Gareth Edwards. Yeah. So he's which, doing it. I don't trust the guy. I like him. I like him a lot. I like all his movies. I like him. It's just he can't do um, big shots well. I think as he in, can. As in, like, he can't have him there for long. With Godzilla, he didn't have Godzilla much. And I'm worried about that for Star Wars, but which he, is just that. But he did that for a reason. He did that for a reason. He did it as Godzilla, as in, let's focus on the human story and not Godzilla's See, story. See, I'm, I'm all for that, 
In fact, they did a good point of that in like yeah. the first half with Brian Cranston. Yeah. Have you watched it again? Have you uh, watched it I did second? watch it again. Because the second time, it's the same. I think it's even more so. You see Godzilla a lot. It's just you don't see him fighting a lot. You I mean, see him five minutes in a two and a half hour. Break. No, you see him like in for like thirty, forty minutes. Mm, you you uh, you don't actually. That's not true. You see him swimming. You see him. Uh, you see his spikes swimming. You see I mean, a lot. You of want them. to see him full bodied. You want to see him fighting other monsters. Right. You want him using his freaking atomic breath. I think he's in it for quite a bit, and I, I like Gareth Edwards. I I, think... I like him as a director, but. He's not that good with showing off the monsters. <laughs> Except Mutos. Well, Rogue One is supposed to be about uh, bounty hunters mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, Which there is so much there, I don't feel like they've covered bounty hunters as much as they could in right. the past. So I don't know, I don't know what's going to be in this movie. Me either. I am excited for episode 7, though, which is mm. right around the corner. Oh, it's, it's uh, only, what, what is this, the we're going into the fourth month, mm -hmm. only six months away. Yeah. Something like, no, no, eight months away. Eight months away, because it's yeah. December. Oh, yeah. I'm all mixed up here. All right, and speaking of new expanded universes and such, right. Marvel is having his comic reset. Mm. And I've wanted mm. to talk about this for the longest while. Sure. How are they going to do that? Like, and how... They're going to blow up the universe? They're going to destroy... The universe. Yeah. They're going to just Ugh. blow it up. I mean, it's going to be... It's... It, it's. Uh, I think... Weren't they talking about... Uh, having, like, the two uh, universes kind of colliding. Mm -hmm. And that's going to form the Secret so, Wars. And so and... that's, like, the um, normal universe and the ultimate universe? Right. Yeah. So there's, like, there's like Marvel Zombies versus Age of Ultron. I'd love um, to see that. And there's, and there's a lot of different uh, things going on uh, like that. Um, mm-hmm. It's basically like a, a the new expanded secret war, right? Right. And, which I and love the original secret. It's war. kind of what happened with uh, uh, the new Fifty Two with DC. Mm -hmm. DC uh, came around and essentially blew up their universe. Um, and there are characters who still remember what happened, have like flashbacks to what happened in the old stuff. Like yeah. Barbara Gordon still remembers. Uh, being assaulted by the Joker. Yeah, but here's the thing. Are um, the Marvel characters going to remember these events? I think so. I think so. I think there are going to be some that, that live, and they're going to remember mm -hmm. what's happening. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to remember what they do. I'm, I'm confused by this. I, they're going to reset it so you have brand new stories. They're not going to have, I don't think... That they're gonna have like origin stories again mm -hmm. for everybody. Is it gonna be like okay? So it's gonna the war is gonna happen. Essentially, what they're gonna do is instead of worrying about having to like if I want to follow a Spider-Man storyline, mm -hmm. I don't have to buy four or five different series. I just mm -hmm. buy one or two, right? So instead of picking up the Amazing Spider-Man, the Spectacular Spider-Man, mm -hmm. the Superior Spider-Man, it'd just be a straight line. Ultimate Spider-Man. Because I'd like to read all those. Yeah. We'll instead just have the Amazing Spider-Man, and uh, like something else with yeah. Spider-Man, maybe, maybe just one Spider-Man. But what my thinking is that if it's easier to get in, the war way. happens and it's such a giant war and breaking between timelines. Right? Would it have some kind of time collapse and restart everybody's storyline in a different way, but kind yeah. of the same? Yeah, yeah, like, like everything, they're not going to do origin stories again, P uh, characters are going to die and stuff, mm -hmm. and they're just going to reboot everything, and everybody's going to start on fresh number one. Um, See, I like that, because we can finally just start from the very beginning right. of this new series. Right. And I'd like to do that, because yeah. I, was, I wasn't, of course, not born that far back. Right, well, I mean, nobody was. I mean, most of the younger readers nowadays, I mean, you can't go back and start with Spider-Man number one. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to he, anyway? Because it's kind of like hey, sure, don't judge me. I do that. <laughs> no, I mean it's kind of cool to go read. Like, I mean, Ultimate spider mans different. Ultimate mm -hmm. Spider-Man's different. But I'm talking like if you started reading all of the amazing Sp or, or Amazing Spider-Man's from like number one back in like the 50s. Mm -hmm. all, I think it was 62, maybe 60s, whatever. Uh, all the way up to modern day. Mm -hmm. Not only would that take you decades to do. Keep talking. I want to show you this. But I mean, it would it would take a long time to do. I I have every issue of Amazing Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, Ultimate, right? Um, 
all on my computer, and yeah. I've been trying to read all of them. There's like over almost 600 issues here. Yeah, so you can't just do it. And that's it. just amazing. So that, yeah. there's like thousands of... And then um, there's spinoff ones like Superior and... and... Superior, and there's a lot on Venom. Yeah. And just that one character has so much there. Just all of the uh, Marvel characters is just insane. See it's right insane. here. Um, you can't see this if you're listening, but right now I'm trying to load all of this, and there's so much here. It's ta it's lagging because there's yeah. so many on here. Yeah, so it's like I I would say it, it makes sense to reboot it. I've I've been thinking that they should reboot it for a while now. Okay, um, from where I have it, 592, 592 yeah. amazing issues, not counting Friendly Neighborhood Spider Man, Peter Parker, uh, Scarlet Spider. There's just so much there, and now they're just rebooting it. Mm. Well, I mean, it makes sense. You gotta get new people in. I definitely want to get started with some of them. Yeah, I, would I wouldn't get... mind reading Spider Man number one. Um, I've always before now with been... interesting stories. I'm tired. Like, I don't personally think that the the Amazing Spider Man that's going on right now mm -hmm. is very good. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather start with some better storyline. Uh, I would like to read uh, like the Avengers stuff. Mm -hmm. Do something like with the movies. Start with all these. Don't have an Avengers yeah, day yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Have them come back together. Mm -hmm. That would be really cool. Um, before now, I've been mostly a digital reader, like tr with new stuff, trying to keep up with it digitally. Um, but now with this reset, it wants to make me actually go out to a local comic store right. and have a subscription for it. Right. Because with this reset, I can do that for, like, Spider-Man, Iron Man, X-Men. I mean, I think I would like to do it. I mean, physically, sure, I'd like to have that, but I kind of want to start a digital collection. Because mm -hmm. that's what I did with uh, the New 52 Batman. Mm -hmm. uh, I have pretty much all of them digitally um, so that I can read, you know, on my tablet and just mm -hmm. go, you know? But if you... N you never know, because if, like, when Spider-Man issue, like, um, one was released... Right. Um, Nobody knew it would eventually be worth so much oh, right. for just one right. issue. Right. So that's why, I, with this new reset, I'm wanting to start collecting them. The, the thing I'm worried about, though, is that the value won't be there, because if you go try to find uh, Amazing, or, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number one, mm -hmm. that's common. That's everywhere. Everybody has Amazing Spy or, or Ultimate Spider-Man number mm -hmm. one. So the value doesn't retain even 10, 11, 12 years later. So then it could go beyond my lifetime and just pass yeah. it on to the... That's true. It, it, it takes a long time for the value to go up because I'm sure uh, Amazing Fantasy, Spider-Man, or whatever it was, um, like, that yeah. probably didn't have a lot of value until probably, like, the 80s. Probably. Yeah, because the 70s, probably people had them and mm -hmm. nobody really knew, but people like Spider-Man and stuff. And but... see, people back then didn't know what they had, so they just abused right. it so badly. So that's why there aren't that many in good condition. Right. It just depends on how many are left in the world and how good they are. Yeah. Hmm. But I'm excited for it. Yeah. I can finally uh, read the physical copies of a new series. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Alright, last story, or last topic, really, sure. is... Um, a new Ghostbusters movie mm -hmm. is getting an all-male cast, finally. Now, before it was all-female cast. So there's two Ghost Ghostbusters movies coming From out? what I hear, I guess there are two. Like, two that are all-female and all-male. Mm. That is so confusing. Right. Um, I love Ghostbusters. Not right. as much as Alien or Predator. Um, but I, I like watching it. They're enjoyable. I think they should just stick with one. Yeah. I think they should just stick with one and, and make it that. And if it's all female, I'm excited for that. If it's all male, I don't care. As long as it's good. I if it's care. good, yeah. Um, but how would they make that good? Like, how can what? they... I don't know, because it's Ghostbusters. All they do is bust ghosts. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm saying, like, they can make a Ghostbusters movie good. It doesn't matter if it's all male or all female. It doesn't matter. You get the right actors or actresses. I know. And... That's what I'm concerned about. How could they make a good story? 
I mean, Ghostbusters, all they do is bust ghosts and deal with the government and all that. Right. But how are they going to do that in a new movie? They've done that in the first two. They do it in a modern sense. It's like, you know, it's true. everybody seeing ghosts and sharing it on their smartphones and stuff. It's <laughs> like, you know, it, that's what I'm saying. Ghosts it's are like, carrying iPhones around. That's what I'm saying. So I, I think it's easy. I don't think it'll be, it'll be campy. It'll be funny. But it won't be, uh, you know. I feel like Ghostbusters um, as a movie is strictly an 80s movie. Yeah, I don't. It feels like that. Yeah, I don't think they should have. They, they should be making a new one. But. See, sci-fi movies that were made in the 80s, like Alien, Predator, Terminator. They've been trying to make a new Ghostbusters movies for years, though. Those so. those franchises can go up to modern time, because they have com- complicated storylines, and mm. people like like watching that. With Ghostbusters, it's pretty straightforward storyline. Mm. People get together, usually four, um, start a company about busting ghosts, and they do that, and they yeah. get paid. And that's it. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm excited for it. I'll, I'll go watch it. I think I'll see it once, but I have I, I have doubts about it. Mm. I'm not like a huge like fan for it. I know a lot of people are. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people only like the first one, and I can see that. Mm. Um, I just don't know how they could make the new one or the new two good. Mm. Uh, yeah, man, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, cool, great. Yeah. Um, unless we have any theories or predictions we see for the future of sci-fi. I, I mean, there's so much that you could predict, but I don't have any right now. Okay. All right, here's a crazy one. Alien 5 is going to be amazing. I'm just going to say that's that That's a crazy now. prediction. I have a feeling it will be. Well, I think it, I think it will be, too. Neil Blomkamp seems to know what he's doing. Yeah, definitely. He's made his own concept before he even played. Even on though Chappie, I hear, isn't very good. Oh, wow. So, but I got to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I, so I heard District. I have never District seen, Nine is amazing. I heard never seen Dr- District Nine, but I heard that it was pretty good. It's really good. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to watch that. Yeah, you have to watch before it. I go see Alien Five. Well, yeah. Um, I feel like that movie's gonna be great. I think Jurassic World's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. One, um, too. Star Wars Seven. Mm-hmm. I think that one will be good. Yeah. I mean, I, it's I don't hard know to yet. see how that I gotta one see, would uh, I guess see another trailer for it. Mm-hmm. Um, Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe. Mm. Um, bring it on. I love to see Spider-Man. I think with we're going to see him in the Avengers 2 movie. That, or at least like some kind of reference or cameo. I think we're going to see him. Uh, and the comic reset. I'm all for that. I yeah. want to start on the uh, physical copies and just start collecting them and start reading them. Cool. Something I could never have done back in the yeah. 60s because, <laughs> well, well were... I wasn't born. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> right. I don't think anybody here has been born. Uh, our parents were. That's, that's very true. But they were like one or two or something. I don't know. They weren't old enough to buy right. their own comics. Right, exactly. Um, so, yeah, and that's pretty much it for this episode on the Sci-Fi Super Show. Cool. We will see you next time. Goodbye.